Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an episode of Writing Tips, to say the least here. Uh, I've done a few of these before on the Comic Chronicle podcast and such like that, but this is the first time I'm going to be doing these video I have with me today, though. Cotton for listeners. As well, I have a T-Rex coffee mug here today, as well as a little hint to what I'm going to be talking about today. And I also have this Jurassic Park 3 Tyrannosaurus toy that I've had since I was a kid. Like, long kid. <laughs> say the least here. But I'm here to talk to you guys today about some good old-fashioned writing tips. Make sure. Alright. Sounds a whole fucking thing. So, um, either you guys are listening to this on the Comic Chronicle podcast, or, which I'll get to in a second, or you guys are watching this on YouTube, which you have the fact, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to check out the Comic Chronicle podcast, a show that I host, that gives you interviews from people, let's take over the glasses, less cinematic, that gives you interviews from people from um, all over the comic book world, such as writers, artists, actors who play comic book characters and such like that, and as a comic book writer for over like a year and a half now, I have a pretty good insight on shit. So we talk and have some fun conversations on there. Check it out on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or comicchronicle.podbean.com. And if you guys are listening to this on the podcast, then check out my YouTube channel, Dakota Morgan, for gaming, writing tips, and all sorts of jazz like that. And now, to what we're going to be talking about today. Business as usual. Oh, but if you guys are actually watching on YouTube, here's the thing. I'm going to stand up and show you something. i got to figure out the camera angle. That's right, folks. The first... Uh, audio listeners, not really audio friendly. First comic book... Po cro comic Chronicle podcast t-shirt. That's right. We have a Redbubble store. You can get the Man of Steel-esque logo in there, as well as the Blockbuster Kid logo. And the... See if I can get it in the camera here. The Make Comics... Wee! Not War Button, the little Comic Book Chronicle podcast logo on there. You guys can get all that stuff on Redbubble. Uh, type in Comic Chronicle podcast, and that's what you can get. But I showed you guys the dinosaur stuff today because for the writing tips, we're going to be talking about how to write dinosaurs. Take a sip of coffee here. Very professional. Mm. So today on the writing tips with how to write dinosaurs, it's something I wanted to talk about because... I myself have a dinosaur comic called Saurian Preserve, and Saurian Preserve is filled with prehistoric creatures, dinosaurs, aquatic avians, all sorts of jazz like that, in a modern-day Discover Dinosaur Island storyline, published by SGGS Comics and art by Paul Trinidad. Besides the point, though, let me fix my... There uh, So, besides that point, so I'll... I wanted to talk about it because people have asked all sorts of writing questions. How to write for this? How do I do this in comics? How do I do this? But in general here, I wanted to talk about dinosaurs besides, if you watch the YouTube channel, you know I'm a big enthusiast because I used to work with them. But here's the notes I have for you guys. I have my journal here too, a little work note. There goes the pen. A little work notebook and such for that. Very helpful. Very professional. Very, very YouTube professional. So, some of the things I want to talk about when writing dinosaurs. Now, this can go for your comics, this can go for audiobooks, this could go for book books, this could go for film, television, all sorts of jazz like that. You guys, it's really, really important that you follow these steps. At least, take these steps and make it into something else. Let me adjust the mic here before you guys accidentally hit it. Sorry, my cat over here. You guys can't see, I'm a cat over there. So, trying to readjust home studio, though. Um... What we have is stay away from the tropes. So first step on there, stay away from tropes. You know, oh, I had a Rex and he's rampaging through a city. Oh, I have, fuck me, an island full of dinosaurs. Let's wait for it. That were genetically modified or something like that. And they brought back to life. Oh, we built a theme park full of dinosaurs. You know, kind of the Jurassic Park tropes, to be honest with you guys. Or the King Kong, we brought it back and now it's rampaging through shit. Stay away from those a little bit, I would say. If you're going to do it, change it up so it's different. That's the thing. is, that So many people, when they see dinosaurs and they want to write for them, especially in comics and media in general, to be honest, you see a bunch of this shit. You see it all the time of the classic tropes that I just mentioned. Stay away from those. Stay, do something new. Uh, do something classical. and wanna, If you're going to take a trope, do something new with it and evolve it and twist it a little bit to make it your own and something that people would want to check out. Next up is the science. Now, of course, these animals are science. I'm saying animals because they're prehistoric creatures, too. Not all of them are dinosaurs. Fuck you guys. You should know science. 
So one of the things that people should realize in here is how to put this is if you use science to bring your creatures to life in the sense like you're, you're like oh I want raptors that are like the size of chickens and then the raptors that have feathers and shit like that too or both fuck me or the Uteranus which is Tyrannosaurus with fucking feathers on it you know you could do that or Tyrannosaurus or color schemes or whatever it may be when you use science to bring your animal to life your pretty stark animal to life you'll notice a difference in there that's because some people take a little bit of the science and make it their own which is fine you can easily do that but take the science that's there and make it and use it and put it in there to make it more originality um, I would definitely say use the science so the two options you can do for that use the science to make it your own and with the animal designs with the coloring with everything like that behavior as well too behavior is another one use that and then two use it as your original concept in there for when you're writing that about the dinosaurs or prehistoric creatures they're 100% scientifically accurate, and you'll get a lot more people that'll be like, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sweet, actually, now that you did that. So keep in, keep in mind for that. Uh, let's see. Let me just... We have... <laughs> August. I just realized my calendar in the back says August. I haven't even changed it yet, because everything's been chaos. Uh, let's see here. Jesus Christ. So we have that. Um, taking a look now at this list, we have the stay away from the movie monster styles. Meaning, kind of in the beginning too, in the sense where, stay away from movie monsters that, oh, Tyrannosaurus is behaving nothing like a fucking animal, and it's just a monster, but we're calling it a dinosaur. There's a notification. So we're, we're calling it a dinosaur, or a sauropod, or a hadrosaur, or a triceratops. Like, stay away from that sort of shit where they're just movie monsters and stuff like that. Now I'm going to say this. When you're talking about video games... And you want to tell a story of, like, these these things are monsters, and we're saying it, saying they're mutated, like, Second Extinction. I'm really excited for that game coming out on Xbox and on Early Access now on Steam. But they're saying they're mutated and kind of monster-esque. So if you don't put that in there and you're like, these are dinosaurs, I'm sorry. People are not going to take it seriously, nor are they really going to like a product in the outcome here. Take that into consideration when doing it. Stay away from the monsters, and if you do do monster esque dinosaurs then keep it like mention it like say something in the very beginning in your epilogue in your intro whatever it is here fucking cinematic and like voiceover or something like that james Earl jones these are mutated monsters i am lord vader i don't know i don't know don't mind me so next up we have is give something new overall in general when writing for prehistoric creatures the best thing you can do is to give something new such as, like, Jurassic, you know. Jurassic's been giving us something new now for a little bit of time. This little guy here. Ah! Meh! Okay. Very, very professional. <laughs> very, very professional. So, give something new with the dinosaurs. Give something new with your prehistoric creatures in here. How can I change this so it's not over fucking 100 years of stuff already that's already out there? How can I change it so it's not that? Like, story and preserve. We're changing this, so we're adding new things in there. We're adding new habitats, like making science meet reality in a sense here. Like, what would happen? Making a realism based here, not like this happened here and they're all crazy and the world's going to shit. Like, no, let's take a realism base here, United Nations. We're storing preserve for SGG's comics. You know, we're doing that. Uh, yeah, I would say definitely take do something new. Hold on, I can take a sip of my homemade coffee because it's a Rex mug. Down there, so definitely, folks, you gotta try something new here. You really have to go for it. Um, yeah, I would say take these considerations as a basics. I plant these seeds in your head for when you're doing this, because it will immediately help you out. It's gonna help you out in what you do and what you say, your characters, your animals themselves, your world building, and all that sort of jazz like that. So, without further ado, folks, I want to say thank you for tuning into this episode. If you liked it, subscribe. Maybe you guys get more writing tips, check out the video games on the Dakota Morgan YouTube channel as well. And then also if you're on the Comic Chronicle podcast, you guys are listening. Hopefully you enjoy this. Stay tuned though. We're going to have more interviews and such coming up for you guys. If you want to follow me on social media, you can at Dakota Morgan 3 on Twitter or at Dakota underscore Morgan 97 on Instagram. Check out all the comic book stuff I do, podcasts, animal care technology. And sometimes paleontology. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Without further ado, I've been you guys' host, Dakota Morgan. And 
Stay creative.